I told you guys about a year ago. I said, I, I love sports betting, but it's not good for football. Remember when I said that? I even put out a video. I said, just because I love it doesn't mean that it's good for football. I love it because I can hustle on it, right? Guys, someone sent me this, man. I didn't believe it because I didn't watch this game. Said, TJ, dude from Mississippi State, they need to check his phone. They need to check his phone for FanDuel, DraftKings, Bet365, ESPN. Watch this boy and let him go. Watch him put hands on him and push him. What the? Eddie Robinson turning over in his grave. I'm telling you, Eddie Robinson is turning over in the grave. Did y'all see that boy put his hands on him? Then who in the hell is dude? Who is dude? Hey, Mississippi State fans, who is dude? Because this, hey, listen, Mississippi State, I know y'all don't like y'all business to be in the street, but this, I'm giving you a heads up. This shit that made it down here to New Orleans. Okay? Your business is in the street. What in the... Bro, do you see the, you see the lineman? You see the defensive... The linebacker show up like, bro, why you let him go? See, they try to edit this to minimize the impact of it. Oh, my God. If I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. What in the fan duel is going on? What in the Casino Royale is going on? Point shaving? That's a whole ball head. Fuck the shaving. D d hey, dude. Look at number seven looking at him like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Listen to me, Mississippi State fans. This shit don't have nothing to do with rivals. Right now, the integrity of what we love, the fabric of what we love in college football is being jeopardized. Okay? I, guys, I seen, I seen so many broken tackles in the LSU game and almost vomit in my mouth. This is not a broken tackle. This is an assisted touchdown. This is helping dude, helping dude name get in the paper. Like my grandma used to say, get your name in the paper. Get your name in the paper. That might be a New Orleans thing. But he helped him get in the paper. But look, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, this may not be a big deal to nobody but me and about four other people. Right, those who really, really love this game of football. But in my opinion, dude must have had something on the over. <laughs> he must have had something on the over. He must have took Georgia for the over. That's the only thing I can see. That's for him to assist that guy in getting in the end zone like that. God, man. We, Hey, hey, bro! Can we, hey, hey, when we put, can we get some of that love? Can we get some of that? Look at Georgia player. Georgia player just put his hands in there like, hey, he ain't trying. Look at Georgia player like, hey, <laughs> I know. Then see this new football with these transfers and this NIL and this portal and all of that flush all that shit in the toilet. Find the toilet of hell and flush all of this shit. All of this shit is bullshit. <laughs> it's all, all of this rigged ass, scripted ass bullshit. Look at number seven. Now, number seven is at, number seven is at Mississippi State for the right reason. Listen, I don't, I don't ever keep cutting no kids. I'm just saying, whoever in the fuck that is, I can't even see his number. Is that a two or 25? I can't see. Whoever in the fuck that is his ass better be at home come monday not on not on campus his ass better be at home not even on the fucking campus he better be at at the fuck home this is not the fourth quarter two minute warning when you're trying to get the ball back guys this is the top of the third he just said fuck it we're gonna lose anyway 
We're going to lose anyway. I mean, a loss is a loss. I mean, we should one in five. You're, you know, at least we're the best one in five team ever. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm going, hey, I'm going back to the protest movement, man. Fuck this, fuck this football. 